So this session was about using games as an approach to imagine creative responses, solutions, anticipate the effects, the impacts, the challenges of migration and climate change. Uh, so a few colleagues uh, and myself used two games to try to show people how we might be able to make foresight and futures work uh, a little bit more play-driven and play-based. So my expectations were that we would have a dynamic, engaged group of people who were invested in futures literacy as a process and seeing how we can use that to further responses and to anticipate social challenges. And my expectations were met. We had a phenomenal group, lots of really exciting outcomes, play was fantastic, we're getting really good feedback from people and I think it's really the start of something really special. Well, futures literacy for me is really the continual process by which we interrogate our assumptions, by which we critically and creatively imagine different possibilities. And as Riel says, why we really try to walk on two legs, why we actually use our faculties for good and try to create positive change. The most beautiful thing that could happen would be that futures literacy really develops into a robust ecology. And so it starts to grow and mutate and flourish beyond the confines of UNESCO. The fantastic part of UNESCO is to be a, a, a a bridge to bring people together to be able to actually have this kind of critical landscape where all these great minds are in one room but we also know it needs to go beyond the confines of a single space and I think that is what my hope is and hopefully the future of this is. For me the linkage between the game and the real world is that uncertainty is a critical aspect of our everyday. And games only work when we don't know the outcome. This is the reason we play. And games also have constraints, just like the real world as well. I love the saying that it's better to be surprised by a simulation than to be blindsided by reality. And I think that's precisely what games and simulations and these kinds of approaches and tools can do. The best way that I think to interest average everyday folks is to meet them where they're at. So this is where games are really great. You can play games on WhatsApp, on social media. You can get board games as part of a family experience to try to interject futures literacy and to try to foster more critical and creative imagination on these big questions. Uh, for me, science fiction would be one of the tools for futures literacy. So futures literacy for me is a really broad umbrella. It's really about the capacity by which we could imagine, again, interrogate, uh, try to creatively engage with that possibility space of different futures, which is necessary for us to be better at anticipating and hopefully shaping not just the futures that we think are probable, but hopefully preferable as well.